and drop us a comment. Do you use surface skimmers in your aquascapes? If so, what type? But let's talk about why we get the surface scum to start with. Hi everyone, George here. In this video, we're going to talk about the new Awaze Crystal Skim 600. We're going to fit it to the Awaze Highline 400. But before I do that, I want to tell you a little story. Yesterday, I moved this aquarium from here to here. And then we moved our, my wife and I, we moved our working desks from here into the room opposite this wall here. So now we can enjoy dining here, looking at our beautiful aquariums. How exciting is that? I just think it's a much, oh, hello Betty. A much nicer way to enjoy our aquariums rather than getting distracted from work. So that's exciting, isn't it? But let's talk about surface skimming and why it's necessary. So let's have a look at this aquarium in particular. This is where we're going to fit it. Those bubbles there, they're micro bubbles, CO2 bubbles. But you'll see there's a scum building up there, the top third of the screen. That's actually a surface scum. And you can see where the surface has been agitated, there's no scum there. Now ideally we'd like to have no scum at all. So to achieve that, we need to use a surface skimmer. We'll talk more about that in detail and unbox it, etc. But let's talk about why we get the surface scum to start with. It's just usually an accumulation of biological matter, normally like a biofilm, be microorganisms, there'll be sort of proteins, etc., that have been leaching from the plants and other biological processes. It's more of an aesthetic issue. It doesn't look very pretty, doesn't it? You can see that distinct kind of two-tone surface there. And arguably you could suggest that it may prevent some oxygen exchange because as the water's circulating, it picks up oxygen from the air. And the more surface movement we have, the more oxygen it can produce. So you could say that if we've got surface scum, that's gonna add a small barrier between the air and the water, and therefore could result in less oxygen. So the surface skimmer will not only give us a nice crystal clear surface to look at, that could give us more oxygen. This is literally the first time I've ever opened one of these, so we're doing it together. Okay, the box is a nice quality box. He's in the new Awaze branding there, the new logo. And, oh, we've got some tape on there. This is the box. We have some tweezers here. Let's see what they're used for later. UK plug. It'll be interesting to see how much cable we have, because we need to reach from the dry weir down to the power supply at the bottom of the aquarium. Some technical specs, four and a half watts of power consumption, and then a maximum flow rate of 600 liters per hour. There is the smaller Crystal Skim 350. Let's now just remove it from its cardboard packaging here. Good to see minimum amount of plastic packaging being used. All recyclable cardboard. And then we have our Cable tidy there, so let's remove that. Oh, looks like a significant amount of cable in there, that should reach no problem. Okay, so this is the actual component in itself. That will sit onto the left hand side of the aquarium, uh, right in the corner, I think, left hand front corner, and that will give us some good skimming. Um, here we can use our tweezers to remove the shrimp protector. That's to obviously um, hopefully prevent any shrimp from entering the impeller section there. Here we have the floating portion and I think this goes through here like so. Acts as another shrimp guard there and then we have our castellated area here where the water flows in through there. Fits on the top here. So let's plug that in and see how it works. So the skimmer has been installed, so easy to do. There are different settings on it, which I'll talk about in another video, but this is an overall impression, how easy it was to unbox and install. Uh, pipe the electrical cabling down there through the dry weir and then down through the cabinet. So absolutely no cables on display. Um, interesting feature, it 
the water actually is circulated down this way instead of via a nozzle like other brands. I actually really like this because often we don't need more uh, lateral circulation, lateral flow. It's actually quite handy to have flow down here because we often get dead spots in the corners of the aquarium. So for instance, in this tank, we've got two filter outputs there. Gosh, look at that BVA, that's embarrassing, isn't it? We've got two filter outlets there. So we're getting a, a good gyre effect of water circulating along the back left to the back right around here. But by the time it gets to here, we've got virtually no circulation at all. So this position here is actually arguably perfect for minimising the dead spots around here. That scum has already almost disappeared. Uh, we showed you the scum at the beginning. I'll overlay a before and after, in fact. So this is the after. Now this is the before. And you can see the difference is remarkable. Only after literally probably two minutes of use. So just a very brief introduction into the Awaze Crystal Skim 600. There is the 350 option available for smaller aquariums, but a great surface skimmer. I've used lots of different surface skimmers over the years. The Eheim is a popular model. I've also used the filter inlets that are glass with a floating acrylic portion that doubles up as a skimmer as well. There's also a model which is attached to the output nozzle. So there's lots of different ways that we can skim the surface. And this is a, another great option that you might want to consider. The disadvantages are that it does, you know, it, you can see it. You know, as an aquascaper, we don't normally like to see our equipment. It is quite subtle in there, it is a grey colour. Perhaps black would be an option to really blend in nicely with the high line uh, background there. It's so easy to, to use, I have to report on it after some long-term usage. I have had good reports from colleagues that have been using it already. Um, Dave from Crown Gardens, for instance, using one in the uh, setup that Ty Treatment created in their beautiful store. Uh, but let me know what you think in the comments. Have you used this yet, the Awaze Crystal Skim? What do you think about its unique features about blowing the water downwards? I have heard from the product designer that it can go, it can go as low as kind of here in your aquarium without disturbing the soil. So this is interesting. So it's suitable for even quite shallow aquariums. There are other features to the skimmer that I haven't talked about yet on this video. We'll feature uh, some more updates on this amazing skimmer. First impressions, great. Check out your local Awaze dealer and see what you think to yourselves. Check out other reviews on YouTube. There are plenty now. So the skimmer's been running for about five, 10 minutes now, and you can see absolutely no sign of scum there. Okay, we'll leave it there. Take care. Cheerio. Thanks for watching to the end. And I am gonna be in Chicago next week and the week after, two events, the Aquatic Gardeners Association Convention 2022, where I'll be doing a workshop and being involved with all of the fun activities that they organize at these things. And then I will be at Aquashella Chicago as well, where I'll be on the main stage doing a talk um, exclusive. It's going to be on aquascaping and mindfulness. And I'll also be there as part of the Aqua Gallery, organised by Awaze, the Aqua Life Iconic and various other supporters. So if you can make either event, that's the Aquatic Gardeners Association, you might be a bit late to sign up, but I'll leave links to both events in the description. So. AGA convention in Aquashella. Betsy gonna come and say cheerio to everyone. So it's bye from me and bye bye from Betsy and I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, hit the like, subscribe if you haven't done so yet and drop us a comment. Do you use surface skimmers in your aquascapes? If so, what type? Is it the type that comes, is it an Eheim surface skimmer? Is it the new Oase? Is it the type that's attached to your filter inlet? which are normally part of the glass inlets and it normally has a floating acrylic portion. Or is it the very new type, which I think is Aquario, um, which is the type that uh, is a Venturi on the acrylic of the filter outlet. So various different 
various different types of skimming. Let us know what you use and why. Take care. Cheerio.